hoping this top one should be able to be pressed out past the edge of that line, totally therefore being line. right over the pool. It'll fall over, <laughs> I believe. You reckon? Yeah, yeah. I think it will. Now Tordy. comes the tricky bit. Will an entire block hang over the edge without falling in? Right. Guys, got a challenge for you. I want to see if you can make a structure whereby one of these is overhanging the edge of the table. So, I'm asking them to construct a shape with the full length of one block hanging over the edge of the table. With a bit of trial and error, it can be done, but it seems to take a lot of blocks. Guys, you know, if we scale this up, right, to about five foot in size, how few of these do you reckon we could use, even if we did it over the edge of the pool? Six. Right, what do you reckon, Drew? Nine. Nine? And Ten. how many have you used there? Thirteen. <laughs> Optimistic, all right. Mikey? I'll go with eight. Right, and how many have you got there? Eight. So you go with eight? On a bigger scale, ten. <laughs> ten. Should we try it? Yeah. Let's okay, do it. let's do it. So, how few of the blocks will it take to hang one block completely over the pool? Will it take six, eight, nine, or none of the above? Well, I didn't have to yeah. carry those. Now I've got a theory that should give me the minimum. Drew, you said And I've asked the guys to help me test it out. We're only up to four blocks, but I'm going to give it a go. Right. <laughs> now, do we all agree that that tape measure there represents the edge, the edge of the pool, edge. right? Yeah. I'm hoping this top one should be able to be pressed out past the edge of that line, totally therefore being right over the pool. It'll line. fall over, <laughs> I believe. You reckon? Yeah, yeah, I think it will. Now comes the tricky bit. Will an entire block hang over the edge without falling in? Mikey, push this out. No it's, way. This is oh, no very way. precise. It's like a matter of an eighth of an inch too far and a whole lot goes in. Oh. But if it falls, no, no, it's it's good. Good. Hold, it, hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. That is in line, guys. OK, it's the moment of truth. Three. There's one. Two. One. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! That Get is officially oh over the God. edge of the pool. I can't believe it's four. Oh I only God. used four nice. blocks, so the answer is D, none of the above. Those four pieces are acting as one. As long as collectively the centre of mass is this side of the water, that will balance like that. The centre of mass of a structure is where you find its balancing point, which for one block is the middle. If you stack all four blocks squarely on top of each other, the centre of mass of that structure is still in the middle. I've used a scientific calculation called the harmonic series to push each block out a precise amount until the whole structure's centre of mass is at the edge of the pool and the top block is completely clear. Incredibly, this calculation is what allows me to use just four blocks to meet the challenge. Oh my gosh. But that is That's directly insane. over the edge of the pool and that is four bricks. <laughs> So, from blocks to rocks, I'm about to show you an unbelievable scientific way of spotting a fake diamond.